Hi Lana, uh, welcome once again uh, to this particular channel uh, where we actually dedicate it uh, in teaching you or rather informing you of the best uh, courses that you can always pursue. Uh, with respect to that, we are going to look at one of the best courses that you can always uh, pursue, especially if you are here in Kenya. Uh, in particular, uh, we are going to look at perioperative theatre technology, admission requirements, uh, fee structure and the colleges that you can always attend if you want to do this particular uh, course. So I hope you are going to be here till the end of this particular video so that you gain more uh, if you are interested in this particular uh, course. So first we need to understand what is perioperative theatre technology because uh, it looks like it's a very strange name, right? Now this particular course or other uh, uh, technology consists of competencies that an individual has to achieve uh, to provide services in operation theater uh, set up in hospital. So I think before any surgery or operation happens, uh, these are the people that are needed to ensure that the equipments are well uh, sterilized, everything, they are maintained, uh, the room that the procedure or the theater is going to happen. So ideally, they play a very crucial role. And that's why it's important for us to understand maybe uh, what kind of uh, admission requirements that you require, uh, which subjects that you need, right? So they handle a lot of uh, theater-related instruments. And of course, they work hand-in-hand hand with surgeons and even nurses so that the operation uh, happens successfully, right? So that is, uh, in a nutshell, uh, what perioperative theater technology is all about. Now, what are your duties for those who are interested in this particular uh, course? So first, as I mentioned, you will be assisting uh, maybe the surgery procedures, uh, provide the surgeon with the tools that they require uh, from time to time. And of course, you'll have to arrange all these surgical uh, instruments uh, to make sure that uh, they are in order uh, before uh, surgery happens. You are also expected to clean and sterilize all this instrumentation before and after uh, the surgery has been done. Right, and of course, you need to follow the instructions uh, from the uh, surgeon uh, during uh, surgery because you are going to be like the ear, the eye, and the hand to this uh, surgeon. So, what they tell you is exactly what you need to do uh, to follow. And of course, as I'd mentioned before, so you need to have to ensure that uh, you take good care as instructed of all the anesthe anesthesia equipment. It's just a nutshell. I know from time to time we'll be given uh, other additional duties by the respective uh, surgeon. So I know here is what you guys really want to know. What are the admission or entry requirements if you want to pursue uh, this particular uh, course? So prospective students, you need to have completed your KCSE and must have attained a mean grade of what? C minus, right? Now, uh, other additional cluster subjects will play a major role, in particular biology. So ensure that you score high in biology. At least have also uh, a grade of C- minus in biology. And of course, chemistry, uh, mathematics. Uh, these are very important subjects that will enable you to uh, score or rather uh, get an entry to pursue this particular uh, course. Now, for the certificate, of course, we also have those people who have already done certificate and they want to proceed to diploma. And you have those who cannot be able to go to diploma because they scored uh, maybe the lowest grade in their KCC. So, if you had a diploma, then you can start with the certificate program. Then later on, you can always upgrade uh, to diploma. So, I think that is a good way of progressing because you could be having some passion in this particular course but you didn't attain the right grade for the diploma. So you have a choice of using what? The certificate option and proceeding uh, to the next uh, level. Now, if you have this, uh, you have the qualification uh, to proceed to diploma, uh, then uh, you will be required to undergo this training for two years, right? And of course, you'll be required to do, go through some industrial attachment uh, before completing this particular 
uh, cost. So if you're wondering maybe how much does it cost, I mean the fee here varies from an institution to an institution. Like you can see here, I've mentioned that the Outspan Medical College uh, will charge you 22, around 22,500 uh, per semester as tuition fees, right? Maybe some institutions such as Jordan Hospital will charge you 36 for institution. Now, again, it boils down to the kind of infrastructure that this particular institution uh, provides. And maybe not, uh, lest we forget, we also have other, other costs. Uh, maybe that will be included, like if you are boarding there, right, if you are, are doing other additional studies, uh, I mean, all these costs uh, will be packaged together, maybe to increase the overall fee, right? So you need to take charge and look at the specific institution that you want to enroll in and see any additional uh, charges that you are going to incur so that you know the exact amount of fee that you're likely uh, to pay. So this is for the diploma. Then we have certificate, right? So if you want to uh, do the certificate, uh, of course, you will have to uh, look for the institution that is close to you or the one that you can afford. Like for example, I've given an example here. Uh, Better Healthcare Hospital uh, Training Institute will charge around 80,000. Uh, I think there's an error there. Uh, 80,000 per year, right? On the other hand, Nairobi Women's will charge you 110 or thereabout as tuition fees for the uh, program. What I'd mentioned for the diploma still applies. There are those uh, charges based on infrastructure, maybe use of uh, tools, instrumentation there, and so on and so forth. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are still sticking around and you find this particular uh, information useful, uh, kindly take a second or two. Uh, so that you subscribe to our, our channel. And for those of us who have already subscribed, uh, thanks. Now, the question that actually most people ask is perioperative theater technology marketable, more so here in Kenya? Now, without blinking an eye, the answer is yes, right? Now, you can be, uh, actually you can get some uh, you can get some employment within the private hospital, mission-based hosp hospitals, or public hospitals. And of course, even if you gain enough experience, you can start your own uh, clinic and offer this particular what? Uh, services. The only thing is that you need to actually liaise with some hospitals so that you partner with them as you proceed with your uh, personal uh, services. Now, after you have completed this particular diploma, it could be diploma, it could be certificate, yeah? you'll have gained necessary uh, skills and knowledge related to surgical procedures, operating room, management, and surgical technology. So what are the options of career options? You're likely to be a preoperative nurse. You can also become a surgical technologist. You can also be a central set, a st a sterilized uh, processing technician. You can also be operating room assistant. Now, there are quite a number uh, of options or career options that you can always get uh, from this particular course. So, I'll encourage you, if you have some interest in such kind of uh, course, kindly uh, proceed and take it because it's very, very uh, marketable. So, I know uh, this is also is something that you might maybe want to know. How much... Right, because at the end of the day, I know it's about money. <laughs> How much do they get paid? Now, according to Kenyans Consult, um, uh, they actually state that the range, salary range, is actually between forty to there about one hundred and uh, one hundred and eighty-two thousand uh, Kenyan shillings, uh, while the average salary is actually at sixty-five thousand. Uh, nurses can gain or uh, be compensated uh, 47,000 uh, shillings on average, right? So these are just some statistics. Maybe we could have differences based on the organization that actually employs you. And what stands out is actually the experience, right, and qualification, right? You realize that some maybe might have additional certificate or diploma, some might have upgraded to 
uh, do the degree. So all these are factors to be put into consideration so that we determine uh, the exact salary. And of course, uh, we have also uh, the government initiate, uh, initiatives such as the tax, right? This could also uh, play a major role into uh, maybe enabling us tell you the exact. But let's just use these particular uh, figures uh, maybe as a start off, right? So what are the colleges uh, that offers the diploma in this particular program? There are quite a number. Right, uh, for the diploma, the greater number. We have Jordan Hospital uh, Medical College, which is based in Kitwe. Uh, we also have uh, Outspan Medical, actually is a very good one, right? We have Nairobi Women's Hospital College in Nairobi. We also have Sister Leonela in Yeri. We also have Commonwealth College, which is, which is also very good. Uh, of medical and related studies, right? Nyaururu Medical Training, Methodist College of Health Sciences, uh, Lorenzo uh, Medical Training College, Imperial College, how could I forget that? PCA, Hospital uh, College, Our Lady of Londres, Mutomo, Mutomo College of Health Sciences. So, in a nutshell, we have very many colleges that offer this particular uh, diploma program. Uh, maybe for the certificate, there are many compared to diplomas you're going to see. Uh, I've just narrowed down a few. I'll be writing an article within our website just to uh, give you a very uh, in-depth insight or rather the kind of colleges that you can actually pursue this particular program because I know there are many. I've just... Uh, summarized here. So for the certificate programs, you can get them from Better Healthcare Hospital Training College. We have Karen Hospital Medical Training College. Uh, we also have KMTC. KMTC uh, different uh, branches offers this particular college. It could, uh, offers this particular course. It could be Kisumu, Nairobi. We also have PCH Ogoria, Jordan Hospital as usual, uh, Outspan, uh, Nairobi Hospital, Nyaururu Medical, uh, Eldoret National Polytechnic, uh, Thika School of Medical and Health Sciences, and so on and so forth. So I believe at least you have some information regarding uh, this perioperative theatre uh, technology uh, course. So if you're interested, I've listed the various colleges that you can uh, join, whether you have your certificate or you have your diploma. We have also looked at the salary. We have looked at why it is marketable and why you should pursue it, right? I've also reminded you to subscribe, <laughs> right? And I, I think it's better for us to be part of this community so that at least you share the information. Maybe it is your sister or your brother Right, or your friend who wants to know more about these particular courses, they'll find this information right here in Learners Coach. I normally do some thorough uh, research on these particular courses before I give you this particular information, right? So I think uh, if you find it uh, maybe interesting, kindly uh, click on that thumbs up, like it, <laughs> share it, and better still, subscribe to our channel. All right. Uh, thanks.